Hey everybody, this is Jeff from the library and today we are going to talk about how to edit your uh, YouTube video subtitles to make them 100% accurate. So they have to be 100% accurate to make to make them truly accessible. And YouTube does a great job through artificial intelligence of generating basic text for your videos, but to make them truly accessible what you'll want to do is go in and add punctuation and capital letters. They don't have any capital letters or punctuation. Uh, for your text and no, so if you were truly hard of hearing or deaf and you were watching this, it would be pretty hard to make sense of the, the subtitles they have. So what I'm going to do, this is a video that I uploaded to uh, YouTube last week. What I'm going to do is go down to where that has the subtitles. And I just click here <clears throat> and you will always see this. Now this takes them about 24 hours to generate. So their artificial intelligence subtitles won't be generated automatically but you can see here this is the subtitles they have and what you would want to do is click duplicate and edit and you can see here they have all of the text which looks pretty good but you'll notice there's no capital letters and there's no punctuation so instead of trying to correct this within youtube right here this will take you a long time. I used to do that and it, it really takes a long time. So instead what I'm going to do, I'm going to highlight all of this text. I'm going to copy it and then I'm going to go into Word. And I have a Word document set up here for how to use Zoom transcript and I have this saved and I'll be saving this a lot as we do this. So I just paste it in all of the text and you can you can see pretty quickly just looking at it you can see there there aren't there aren't capital letters so here i'm going to use the the find and replace features within word to do a lot of this work for me because it would take a long time if you were just doing it just trying to to look for it yourself so uh what i'll start with i see my name there and i see my name misspelled so i'll say this every time so this is really important control h this will be what will save you with this. Control H is what launches the find and replace. So Control H. Every time we have Jeff, lowercase j, I want Jeff with an uppercase j. Replace all. Yeah, there was a, it was only in there once. Okay, that's okay. We will do a lot of find and replaces here. So I see my name there, Wall. Now there could be other places I say Wall, so I will just capitalize that and spell it correctly there probably aren't other situations like that in there okay uh, the big thing is that I every time there's an I it will not be capitalized I I it's all over the place I so what I'll do and there's a very specific way we'll do this control H anytime there's a lowercase I with a space after it I want that replaced with an uppercase I with a space after it and that space is very important because I don't want all of the I's, the letter I's in this document replaced with capital I's. I just want I's that are standing alone. I with a space. Place all. Okay, there were 20 of those in there. That would have taken a long time if I was just doing that by myself or just with my with my own eyes. The next thing would be I'm, I'll, I'd, the I contractions. Those need to be capitalized. Let's do it again. Control H. Lowercase i with an apostrophe should always be uppercase i with an apostrophe. Replace all. Seven replacements. That was pretty good. And then now as I'm looking through it, I'm just seeing things. I'm, I'm seeing words that should be capitalized. So this is a video about how to use Zoom. Zoom is going to be in here a lot, and it, that should be capitalized. So Control H. Anytime the word Zoom is in there with a lowercase z, we will replace it with a capital Z O O M and replace all 13 replacements so this is saving me so much time i used to do this all in youtube in their little text box in you text box in youtube and it it would take forever okay one thing i i will mention again we're not done with the capitalization but one thing i want to mention very quickly because this is very important do not get rid of these spaces between these paragraphs they're not really paragraphs what these are these are pauses when I'm speaking, this was a pause when I was speaking. This needs to stay in here so that the text can line up with your video. So don't, don't get rid of those spaces. Okay, you'll see those around here. Do not get rid of those. The thing you have to remember about this, this is not a paper for your English class. You're not correcting this Word document to turn into someone to read like this at all. 
that's not what this is. This is text that's going to feed into YouTube that's going to read out each one of these about that long will be all that's seen at a time. It'll just be these little lines of text. They should be formatted correctly, but this Word document is not at all what the final product will be. So don't correct this like you're correcting something that's going to be read like this because it's not going to be read like this. Unless it, it can be read like this later as a transcript if you want. But my, my goal is to make the, the viewer of this have a better experience with the captions. So that was kind of a long description, but don't get rid of these things. Okay. Let me look through here and see if I notice any other things that just stick out that should be capitalized here. Okay. That, etc. That should have a period there, definitely. Okay, so I think that I have all of the big things, uh, the, the repeating words that would need to be capitalized. So now we get to the part that's hard. Now we're going to add periods and commas, okay? And when we add periods and commas, there's going to be a lot of them. I'm not going to make you watch all of it, but I'll do I'll do quite a bit of it here. We only it's only a two page document. It's not very long. What I will do here is I will just read through this and I will add periods and commas. And then at the end, those periods will serve as placeholders in my uh, find and replace to replace with capital letters. And it makes it a lot easier if we do it this way. So my method here, my left hand, my left index finger. I'm putting on the period key on my keyboard. My left middle finger I have on the comma right next to it. Okay. And my right on my right hand, I'm down at the arrow keys so I can go through this quickly. My right middle finger is on the right arrow key and my right index fingers on the down arrow key. Okay. So here we go. I'll go through some of this. Hey everybody, period. This is Jeff Wall. We're going to talk today about how to use Z Zoom. So if I request a meeting, so if you request a meeting with me or a research session, comma, it will be over Zoom. So I say so a lot. And there should be a comma the way that I say so. So I'm going to show you today how to use Zoom, comma, because of a lot of times, comma, that can be confusing for people. So I will send you an invite to a meeting if you request a meeting with me. And the email will look kind of like this. And then in the video, I show that. And as you're reading through this, it can be a little hard to, to tell. You want to get as close. And I might, I might have to watch the video again. But in most cases, I, I'm going to kind of guess here and then I'll go back and firm it up with the video. Like this, the location of the Zoom meeting. And the way people speak, you don't always speak in complete sentences. And I, when I record these videos, I don't work from a script. I just talk. And I think those are the best videos. That's why I'm doing it this way. A lot of people will do all of this first, do the whole transcript and then read in their video. That's okay, but you, you, it sounds like you're reading. You sound like an infomercial when you do that. And it's hard to keep people really watching. I think it's better to keep it real. So it's a lot more work, but location of the Zoom meeting. This is, and you also repeat yourself when you speak. You'll see that when I do this. This is the link. You would, and I'll go back here. There shouldn't have been a period. Click to get into Zoom. So this would be comma. You could copy and paste that, or I always put the link inside the meeting too. So you could just click on this link and then the comma, the Zoom window will launch now. Now, again, you are not correcting a paper. The point of this, someone could read it as a transcript, but the point of this is to feed into YouTube to correct their, their captions. So if you repeat words, leave them in there. Don't get rid of that because th this text has to line back up with the audio of my voice talking. And if I if if I edit this to try to make this look better for here, it's not going to link up correctly with my voice, okay? And we'll put a period here. So what I do, I just go through this, I read through this, and I add places where there should be periods and commas. All right, we're back. I didn't make you watch me adding all of those periods and commas, but it really only took a few minutes for me to do it. You get you get pretty quick at it. So now I'm going to show you some other tricks. Um, one thing that really makes this a lot easier is if I highlight a letter that I want to make capitalized, it's lowercase, 
On my keyboard, I can click Shift F3. You see that? And I could go the other way too if I wanted to make something uncapitalized. Shift F3, Shift F3. So it goes back and forth like that. So now, what, I, what I'll probably do right now is every time there's a pause, usually where there's a pause, it's at the end of a sentence, and then you'll see that, that blank space there. So I'll capitalize that. There's the end of a sentence, and here's a gap. And again, don't take those gaps out. Those gaps are helpful in making this text link up with your voice on the recording. So Shift F3, there you go. Now, what I'm going to do, instead of going through Shift F3 for every place there's a period, what I'm going to do is do a whole lot of Control H, find and replace here. So Control H. So this is kind of interesting how I do this, and this is why I put the periods in first. Every place there's a period and a space and a lowercase a, I want to be a period, a space, and an uppercase a. So that all of the sentences that begin with a should be capitalized now. Okay, it found six replacements. And then what I do, I'll go back to the top here. I do this going through for all the most commonly used used letters that begin sentences. It's this is seems tedious, but it's it's so much easier than doing it the other way, which I used to do it just with my eyes. So every time there's a period, space, lowercase b, I want there to be a period, space, uppercase b. Yeah, I found one. Same thing for C, 0, D, zero. that's okay, E, and I just send it down the line like this, found 1 for F, 0 for G, H, Three for H, I, 13 for I, one for J, L, one for L, M, zero for M, N, Made three for N, four for O. I usually skip over Q because Q, very rarely do I start a sentence with Q. Zero for Q. How about R? Zero for R. S, whoops, I did it backwards. That, and no, we got that right. Okay, 13 for S. There was quite a few for S. T. U. One for U. V. W. And then I'm going to do Y because I don't, I don't think I began any sentences with X or Z. Okay, so I know that seems kind of time consuming and everything I'm doing here might seem a little time consuming. This is so much easier than if I was doing this just trying to look at it with my eyes and I used to do it that way or trying to do this within YouTube. This used to take me hours and hours and hours and this has only taken me about 14 minutes so far and I know and I would be going a lot quicker if I wasn't narrating this too. This has made my life so much easier this being able to do these things so looking through oh also another thing save this document a lot save this a lot so that you don't lose all of your all of your other because we're doing a lot of work in here so what i would do now to double check it i would do Control f find and show me every place there's a period i want to light up every place there's a period to see if i missed anything And I'm just looking through. It looks like everything looks pretty good. Okay. Yeah, it looks like it looks good. It looks like I, I got them all. I might no, I think I got them all. Okay. So there's we basically have a, a completed 
uh, transcript here now and I've got this saved too so I can use this for a transcript so now what I will do I'm going to highlight all of this text I've corrected control copy I'm gonna go back into YouTube and I'm going to paste all of that back in there I'll backspace that once it always adds an extra space there okay now when I publish now it has this new these new subtitles and these will be these will be added immediately so when I click on this video and watch this there's the subtitles you can see let me mute myself out there so you can see those subtitles are immediately added so it really is quick once you do this and now this video is a hundred percent accessible and I also because I saved the transcript of it as I was correcting it I also have a transcript here so this is how you do this I, I wish I could say it's easier but it's really not that hard it, that really didn't take me very long and if I wasn't narrating this through a video this would have only taken me a few minutes so don't give up on making videos just because you can't get them accessible and, and you can't afford to pay someone else to do the subtitles. You can do them yourself very easily. So that's all I have for you. Uh, let me know if you have any questions. Thank you. Bye-bye.